Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to format cells as a table in Microsoft Excel 2007. In front of me, I have a spreadsheet that has NFL statistics from the past season. And by default, when I pull this up and put the data in, everything looks very plain. Everything has a white background, these light blue lines between the cells. Uh, there's no color, there's no spe uh, specific formatting. And if I want to add any formatting, any definition to this table, I by, by default would have to do it manually. If I decided that I wanted the column headers to be a different color, I would have to go here and manually put that in myself. And maybe I wanted every other row to be a different color as well. So I would have to manually go in and put that in myself again. And you can see where this could become very time consuming and painful. But you don't have to do it this way. There's a much faster automated way to do this in Excel. So first of all, I'm going to back out of here and go back to the initial state of my spreadsheet. And now, instead of trying to manually format the table, I'm going to stay here on the Home tab, and I'm going to go to Styles. And when I click on Styles, there's an option here for Format as Table. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click that button. And notice this pop-up menu comes up. And there's a whole plethora of, of different types of styles, colors, weights here, uh, depending on what I want the, the finished table to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these. Maybe I'd like it to have orange highlights. I'd like it to, to show the, the rows in alternating colors. So I'm going to click here. And when I do that, it asks me, it comes up with a format as table window. And it says, where is the data for your table? Now you can you can annotate any amount of data as being part of your table. It can be you can pick one row, one column, one group of cells, etc. But I want you to notice that in the background here, there's a group of data that's already been selected. Notice there 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 are these dotted lines around this data. And here in this form window, there's already a bunch of values that are selected. Now you may not recognize exactly how it's annotating these values, but these values correspond with the values that exist in the table back here. In other words, what's happened is that when I said format as table, Excel by default assumed that I wanted to take all the data that was sitting in this, in this spreadsheet and treat it as one table. So for our purposes right now, that will work perfectly. I'm just going to click OK. And this little pop-up comes up. It says your selection overlaps one or more external data ranges. Do you want to convert the selection to a table and remove all external connections? Just click yes. And when I do that now, let me select off of here. You'll notice that my table looks very different and probably a bit more visually appealing. First of all, my column headers are in a dark orange. Uh, then every other row is shown in alternating shades of, of light orange or like a pale yellow, which gives the table a much better visual appeal. Not only that, it's also much easier now to sort this data. Let me go here to Team, and let's just say I want to show all of this alphabetically. When I click on that button, you notice that this, this button, this uh, context menu comes up. And one of my first options is to sort. I'm going to sort A to Z. And when I do that now, you'll see that all my data is sorted alphabetically by team. And it's taken all the rest of the data in the table and it's moved it appropriately so that all the data that corresponds with the Arizona Cardinals, for example, uh, is still maintained in this row going across. And notice that it also kept my alternate row shading intact as well. We don't end up having a couple rows together with dark shading and a couple rows together with light shading. It kept it all easily intact. In fact, we can even go to other columns and do the same thing. Let's say we want to instead sort by points per game. We can do largest to smallest. And now we have a completely different order, but the format of my table stays the same. And you can, of course, do this by any column that you want. It makes it much easier to sort your data, and it puts it in a visual format that's much more appealing. Now you have a couple different options as well when you're selecting data uh, to make your table. Let me go back and do some of those real fast. Uh, if I start here from my blank table, I'm going to click again on Styles. And I'm going to click Format as Table. And I'll pick a format. And this time we'll use red. 
And this time, instead of using the default values that are in format as table, I'm going to push this little or click this little button right here. This button will allow me to manually pick the data rather than picking the default group of data that Excel found when I chose to format as a table. So when I do this now, it's going to minimize this window and I can select data here. Let's say that I just take the first several columns of this table and I'm going to select it like that. Notice it's, it's denoted by this flashing line and you can see it's put these values up here in the format as table option and then I'm going to click on this button right here and click OK. I get that same warning. I'm going to click yes. And now you'll notice that it only applied the formatting to those columns and those rows which I chose uh, rather than by default taking the entire table. So you don't have to live with the default selection that's given to you when you uh, create when you create cells as a table. So one more option I want to show you is I'm going to back out here again and we're going to go to styles format as table. This time I'll pick blue. And this time I'm going to uncheck this button for my table has headers. When I do that, click OK. Click yes on this warning. And you'll notice now what it did is it didn't recognize that this table, that this column, row, excuse me, had the headers in it. So it added these, these new headers to the top, saying column 1, column 2, etc. Now, of course, in this case, we have a table that has headers already on it, so this isn't a good option for us. But these, these values right here serve as your column headers if your data doesn't naturally have it. But, of course, in this case, we do have column headers, so I'll, I'll go back and click Styles, Format as Table. We'll pick another style. This time we'll do some purple, and I'll just click OK and leave this checked with My Table Has Headers. And that way, it'll keep all my header data intact while still allowing me to format the table and sort values accordingly as such. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.